Welcome to our tour of Lodi Unified School District's Nutrition Services Department. I'm Jenny Hare, I'm the director of the Canned Food Alliance, and today we're out at Lodi Unified, um, where we will be going behind the scenes to give you an idea of everything that they do to prepare fresh meals, nutritious meals for these kids day in and day out. Here at Lodi, we have an enrollment of around uh, 28,000 right now, and we serve four meals a day, breakfast, lunch, snack, and supper. Our school year um, is 180 days, and we serve meals when school is not in session, so we also do the summer program. So we basically feed year-round, and we are um, annually doing about 5.5 million meals a year. We actually do a really good balance. Um, here at Lodi, we're very focused on serving local fresh items and our canned goods, they support and supplant what we're able to put on our salad bars. We also use the canned items to cook with as an ingredient and a way to reduce fat and add flavor to our fresh baked scratched items. So the canned products are local sourced and we um, implement California Thursdays. Uh, several years ago, we were one of the initial districts that launched California Thursdays, which is an initiative by the Center of Eco Literacy to produce, procure, and serve all items, all five protein, grain, um, fruits, and vegetables um, from local. And so for us here in California, the local is defined as what is sourced within the state of California. And we are able to menu that item once a week on Thursdays. We call it California Thursdays. So that includes our proteins, our canned goods, and canned goods are able to help us serve local products. I think it's very important when I came to this district, I came to make a difference in what is served and um, help our students and our parents know what they are eating and where it comes from. So to be able to put a name and a place on the food that we serve within a school district environment was very important to me. And so I really pushed to serve local products and to introduce um, a connection between the plate to the student um, when they're eating meals. So we've been able to make small incremental changes to be able to do that over the course of my tenure here. Um, COVID has set us back a little bit, so we're relaunching um, and re-promoting eating local and getting to know where your food comes from. I think that's very important. Being operations, I manage a lot of the back of the house stuff to run our operation. We have 50 schools and it's everything it takes to get those 50 schools running. So we're responsible for feeding their children and getting meals to them on time so that they can. And we do just in time meals. So our hot meals are going out the door on the day of service. Standing behind me is our food truck that we were able to secure with an equipment grant through the USDA. Our food truck goes to our four comprehensive high schools one day per week. We create new menu items to put on our food truck that have not been in the kitchen yet and those, that's a way of introducing them. So when we're at the high school, the students get to try a new product so the truck has something different. This doesn't cost them anything. Everybody's free meals, including on this truck. I love helping people and, uh, and the kids, seeing the smiles on the kids' faces when we get to get out there and just knowing that we're feeding kids that are definitely in need of food. Our strategy has always been to cook what we can from scratch or speed scratch. And I think that is the best, most economical way to bring your food costs down is to cook items. You're going to pay for convenience items, packaged, um, heat and serve, ready to go type items. So it's really kind of a balance between labor and offsetting convenience items. And we found that being able to cook from scratch gives us the quality control, um, also a better quality product that we're able to serve to our students. 
Um, like I mentioned, we bake and cook from scratch. So we've been able to develop recipes where we can reduce the fat in our muffins and our scones by using applesauce to replace the fat. So that's probably one of our most creative ways um, combined with yogurt. Um, it really kind of brings those nutritionals into line with the regulations that we're required um, to meet. So I think those are some of the creative ways. We've implemented um, the peaches, apricots, frozen blueberries in our parfaits as well as our overnight oats, I think which you've seen at uh, school site level being prepared. So those are some fun ways that we're keeping um, food items on trend. For us, we do, we, we will add jello to an applesauce to mix up the flavors with the applesauce and put it on a salad bar. We also provide our canned fruits on our self-serve salad bars that are at all of our schools. I think it's just a way of presenting it. You can layer the fruits in cups, thinking outside the box, um, I think if COVID thought, taught us anything, it's to really think outside um, and not just stick with the norm. For us, I like to say that we had to build the box this year um, and then we worked within the new box that we built. My favorite parts for me because I have a culinary background is creating those new recipes and those items and then actually taking it to the students with taste testing and getting that student feedback and interaction um, so that we know where to go to the next level. Um, I think that's really important that the kids have a say in what we're serving. Um, and we try and trend with what they're using and seeing in the marketplace and at retail stores and at your fast food or QR uh, restaurants, quick serve restaurants. And so we try and stay trendy with that. And um, the best complaint that I can get from a student is that it's not authentic enough. So that takes us back to the drawing board. My name is Shereen Villanueva. I am the cafe supervisor too for the Central Kitchen. I've been here for about two years now and I just oversee the product being made and sent out to the kids. I've been with the school district for 14 years. I love it. <laughs> I love serving students. So on a daily basis, I walk through my kitchen and I make sure that they are preparing the best quality food for our students. I take a lot of pride in the kind of food that we put out to our students. I like using canned fruits because during the summer, when the kids are out of school, they don't have the opportunity to try a lot of the fruits. A lot of the stone fruits especially peak during the summer. So we can use the canned fruits all year long. All the kids get to enjoy them. Um, we use them on our salad bar. They love them on the salad bar. We use them in recipes and they can enjoy them all year long. It's been great for us. Our relationship with everyone who's actually in the kitchens every day is probably one of the most vital parts of our job because they're the eyes and the ears. We can have some, you know, some great ideas that we think are awesome, but mm -hmm. when how how it's implemented is really what matters, and they they have a perspective that is invaluable to this department, absolutely invaluable. And the fact that they wake up so early and they care so deeply about feeding these students they're the ones that shine they're the ones that really like they're, they're they put their hearts out there and um, we would not be where we're at without how hard they work we're now at lodi high school just miles from the central kitchen where lunch is about to be served Everything that is produced here at Lodi High is one of those on-site kitchens. The cooks have been up since very early cooking, prepping, preparing the wonderful things that you're going to see today. So we're gonna go in, we're hoping we can talk to some students and also to some of the wonderful staff that do this day in and day out and make this a great place to eat. I like to see those faces. When you see the food, like today, we have a Texas straw hat, we have a long time, we don't have this menu. And uh, I'm surprised because they open the eyes and I say, oh my God, I love it. I want this since a long time ago. And you know, it's my favorite time. When I see those smiley faces, the happy kids, it's, it's my, my pay for me. <laughs> I saw PCP and just like us, we all care for people. We care for these kids. We want to make sure everybody's fed and happy. Well, they're doing the same thing. They're going to work every day, canning the speed up press, making sure that we get it out so we can use it as our ingredients to keep everyone happy. And their favorites are the muffins in the morning. They love the muffins they, uh, and the parfaits are one of their biggest favorites. We almost never have any of them left over. Well, uh, yeah, don't give up. Keep fighting, 
keep trying, keep showing up. I know it seems hard sometimes, but there's a reason why they call us superheroes. We are more of a superhero sidekick slash because we're not always noticed, but we're there. We're nonstop struggling and working, making sure you have what you need to feed your children, to make sure these kids have what they require to go to school every morning, to have a healthy meal, to have a healthy breakfast, to have a healthy lunch, to have a healthy supper. And all you other districts out there, don't stop, don't give up, it's not going unnoticed. And at the most part, if you feel like it is, at least you can go home knowing you gave it an honest good day and you fed some children. Thank you, Laura.